Wayne is the bucket. Into the wing. And oh my god. And now this. I stopped like 10 minutes before this started. Unbelievable. It's supposed to last 30 minutes. Quite a day. I need to set up a tarp because I have no shade here. But I don't know which way the wind's coming from yet. Because it's real calm right now. But the sun is blazing. I'm gonna stay here today and leave out in the morning for those mountains off in there. some wind.
a steak and mushrooms to cook. Got it yesterday evening while I was at the store before I came to camp. Steak and mushrooms for breakfast. Coffee and a great view. What do I mean when I say I'm getting back to nature? If I said I like camping to get out and get back to nature. What that means to me is I'm coming out here and being quiet and listening to nature. And I'm sitting still and watching nature. When I see the chipmunk, I'm thinking to myself, what's it like to be a chipmunk out here? What is he doing? For as long as I can watch him, what is this day like? Oh, he hears a falcon overhead and he runs and he hides over in next to a big rock or, and he's just really still. You know, he's, he knows that that falcon or hawk, whatever, is hunting something like him. We watch what the bees are doing, going around collecting, pollinating in the process, giving and taking at the same time. Trees, their whole life they're giving and taking. They're taking in the carbon dioxide that we breathe out. They, and they breathe that in. Not through lungs. It's You need to take that class. And they, the, the byproduct of their photosynthesis, one of those byproducts is oxygen. That's what we breathe in. So they're essentially the other half of our lungs, our breathing system. What they breathe out, we breathe in. And what we breathe out, they breathe in. Everything out in nature tells us something about how this earth works, how this world works. Just by watching the other animals, seeing what they ate, it's probably a good a good sign of something you could eat. But some animals can eat things that are poisonous to humans. So you, I'm sure along the way, throughout evolution, people started passing on that knowledge. Don't eat these things. Old Fred ate some of those and it killed him. And Martha down the road ate some of those and it killed her. Everyone we know that's eaten them has died. So don't eat those. But if you just grew up in nature with no, no schools, no television, nothing. Just nature showing you what to do. With your abilities as a human being, how you can move on this earth you can build all kinds of stuff and you see birds building nests and squirrels building nests foxes have dens bears have dens you can look around and see that everything kind of builds a home and people need that too and you'd build yourself a home. Oh, that's what everyone in nature does. And when you build yourself a home, you go, oh man, that's so much better. Yeah, that's why everything in nature does it. Because getting back to nature, and what that means when people say it. I'm going out to the woods to get back to nature. Because nature is always there to show us the way. We go off and start acting like people and forget about how nature works. And we get caught up in everybody's schemes and games and, you know. And we get lost in it. 
start wondering what the heck are we doing? Let's go out camping and get back to nature. What's going on here? Because nature will always show you this is the lake. I'm here on display 24 7. Come and see me. I have a lot of stuff and when I get home I'm gonna pare it down to where I just have one bag on top and not two bags on top I'm gonna get that pared down okay we're packing up about to head to the Grand Canyon if I've got a picnic table this is how I do it I set a bag on each side because the other bags are on the motorcycle. And then um, I just go to packing stuff away. One of my key things to keeping a quick set up and tear down is always putting stuff back when you get it out. You get something out, you use it. When you're done, put it back. 